Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Here we are, senior night. I'm Ed Whalen. And, and I'm Jim DeVellis. And uh, we're going to be commentating tonight's game. And we just did senior night before. We have uh, seniors Lou Piccolo, um, Sam Blake, Mike Moses, Mike Collins, Pat Caveney, Andrew Whalen, James Silvera, Lou Blake, Mike Henry, and Jake Adesh. And it Warriors is, have a pretty good record this year, Jim. They're 12 and one. They just suffered their first loss uh, the, the other day to Mansfield. Yeah, on Wednesday. That was a that was a close one. Yep, close. Yeah. Expect a big bounce back today from the boys. Um, this year, the team has been very well balanced. Uh, a lot of unselfish play, balance between offense, defense. Um, and KP yeah. starts off with the ball. Right. It's Mikey Collins, number 14, on the ball right now. And doing a nice job keeping him on the perimeter. Oh, first shot of the game goes in. Just to the right side of Jake Adesh. All right, that was at 11.18. We're in the first quarter. On the face off is Shane Kerrigan, he's a sophomore. He's done a really nice job with the face-offs this year. Um, one of our seniors, Sam Blake, who uh, tore his ACL in football, who was also an excellent face-off person. Is, we lost him for the season, but you know, Sam has been here and he's been working with the team as well. Here we are. I think this is gonna be a close game. The uh, King Phillips coming in with an eight and one. And we're seven and one in both of our divisions. Shane just won the faceoff. Yeah, this will be a really good game. Okay. Brendan Tully. He's one of the captains with the ball, moving the ball around. It's been back with Andrew Whalen, number 22. Lou Piccolo with the ball behind the cage, he's number one. Nice, oh. oh. That was a good cut by oh, Michael Moses. Oh, Moses. Ball's behind. Who's coming around the cage? Okay, here we go, right. Oh, Mike goes down, Mike Moses. That was nice. Oh, nice save by Jake. Foxborough nice. comes up with it. That was a nice save by Jake, Jim. Yeah, he's doing phenomenal this year. All right, Jake bringing the ball up. He's got good Jake's stick skills and, and good legs. Yeah, ball across midfield. Ball's, in the, ball's behind now with the Andrew Whalen. Over to Mike Moses. Up to Brendan. Is it, uh, Bobby Yardy? Bobby Yardy, yeah, Bobby. A sophomore. He's had a really good year. He's got a very, very hard shot. Good shot. Ball's down. There we go. Yardy. Nice. nice shot. What a gun. Yeah. Nice, nice rip by Bobby Yardy. So 9.09 in the first quarter, tied up one to one. Boy, that, what a rocket Bobby has. Yeah. Hey, they move the ball around pretty well. Yeah, this uh, it really is offense is uh, is 
been playing uh, generally throughout the year, very unselfish, good ball movement, um, good transition to middies, uh, moving the ball from uh, defense to offense. Defense has done a great job this year. Jake's been great in cage. Shane Kerrigan doing the faceoff. Again, 9.09 left in the first period, first quarter. Okay, there we are. All right, Shane's got that. Nice, nice face off. Ball's behind. Tully just coming in for Foxborough off the side. Yeah, we're doing some subbing off, so. Mikey Collins and Shane coming off. Getting some fresh legs in there. James Silvera just went in number 24. Ball's coming around. Oh, nice. He saw Foxborough keeps it. All right, ball's behind. Yander Whalen with the ball. It's coming around the cage. Pass up, passes over to Mikey. Mike Moses, who's behind. They're showing patience with good ball movement, Jim. All right, ball's out. It'll be KP trying to clear the ball. A little less than eight minutes in the quarter. Goalie's bringing it up right in the center. Good long nice, pull. Nice. All right, they call the pu they call the push on Foxborough. KP will retain possession. Good aggressive play by Foxborough. Ball's behind. Oh, flag on Foxborough. That's kind of penalty and uh, 30 second penalty. Pat Stapleton. So 718 left in the first quarter and Foxborough is gonna be man down for 30 seconds. Let's see if they can keep him to the perimeter. Yeah, the man down unit has done a very nice job this year. So in the man down unit, Got Matt Lathrop, Pat Caveney, Will Morrison, obviously Jake in the cage. That's Doing good a defense. great job keeping All right, him down. Nice job, Foxborough. Oh. All right, that's that's a, yep, a rule. Thirty over seconds is up. Yep. So it's all even again. Boy, that was a nice job keeping them to the outside. So Foxborough will start off with the ball. Up to Brandon Tully in the center. Yeah, Brendan's got the ball. He's bringing it down. Get a touch in the box. All right, ball's behind with Andrew Whalen over to Lou Piccolo. Balls up, balls up top. Brendan with the ball, nice hard shot, okay. All right, Foxborough retains the possession and anytime there's a shot, who's ever closest to where it goes out, retains possession, gets possession, so that's Foxborough, good hustle.
Ball's behind. And six minutes left in the quarter. Still tied up, 1-1. Nice job protecting the stick. There's a trip, that should have been a trip. All right, KP will be clearing the ball. Ball's at midfield, we're over. We got 10 seconds to get it in the box. Okay, they're in the box. All right, nice uh, takeaway by Pat Caveney. Oh. Goes back to KP. Yep. Ball out of bounds. 522 left in the first. Still tied 1 1. Nice save by Jake. All right. Here we go. Foxborough with a clear. Jake with the ball. Nice. Look up. Lift the stick. Long Bring pull the coming up. all the way down and takes a shot wide. KP retains. KP will be bringing it in from the back. Ball's behind. Pat Stapleton is on the ball. All right. Shot wide. KP will retain possession. Ball's behind. Four and a half minutes left in the court in that first quarter. Shot wide. And KP's there first, so they'll still have the ball going in. Okay, ball behind. Ball's on the ground. Nice job. All right, Pat Stapleton with the ball. Foxborough will be clear, and he's coming up the side. It's going back to Jake. Lou Blake. He's got some legs. Yeah, Lou's been very good at transitioning the ball this whole year. They got a touch in the box. So you hear Coach yelling yellow, and that's really to slow down the play while we do some substitutions, get some fresh legs. In. Mikey Collins coming off the field. Lou Blake coming off. And Shane Kerrigan going on. Yeah, so out there at Midi right now, you've got Shane, you got Brendan, and you got Bobby. At attack, you've got Andrew, Lou, and Michael, or actually. Andrew, come on. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh. It's a nice pass by Lou from his knees. Got the shot off. So KP gets the ball, gonna be bringing it up. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Weird seeing these kids from first, second grade up here now. Yeah, it really Flies is. By. We're coaching them all. Nice job by Foxborough defense. Tried to thread the needle and right, couldn't do it. Go. So nice back. Patrick Stapleton with a long pole right. gets it up. Lou Piccolo taking right. control. We're getting some fresh legs in a midi now. Shane, Brendan, and Bobby back out. And you've got Pete Conley, number 10, Andrew Whalen, 22, and Lou Piccolo, number one in attack right now. Got to continue with some patience on our offense. Moving the ball. 
Nice, oh, nice shot. shot. Shane Carrigan Shane, with the bullet, nice top shot. corner. Boy, that's a lot of patience. You know, they could have gone earlier yeah. and they, they did the extra passes. Yeah. Very disciplined team. So Foxborough pulls ahead two to one with two minutes left in the first quarter. They're looking strong. KP's yeah. not gonna go away. No, and they're very no, similar uh, defense too. All right, here we are in the face-off unit. You've got Shane Kerrigan taking it face-off and you've got Mikey Collins, number 14 in the far side and on the near side, long stick uh, midi uh, Will Morrison on the face-off. That long stick can give you an advantage on face-off, so we usually put a pole out there. All right, nice work by Shane, another. He's, uh, he's won all the face-offs so far, which is, you know, that's what keeping possession is what's going to give you more opportunity. All right, Foxborough gets on a holding call on KP. Okay, ball's on the side, Lou Pick. Lou Piccolo with the ball. Hey, motion! Motion! motion. Bye, Bobby. Ball side. Ball's behind. He's doing a nice, Piccolo's doing a nice job of controlling that ball. He spoke too uh, soon then. <laughs> out of bounds. Out of bounds. KP Ooh. takes it. Change of lines. All right, here we go. Here we go with the ride. Right. Penetrates all the way he, down, but it goes high. Move, and he had a good, good shot, high. Ball behind, KP with the ball. Little less than a minute left. Fox are up two to one. All right, nice save nice by save. Jake. Foxborough with the ball. Pass Stapleton. With the Went down hard. Back right back up. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a push. We got the ball. Twenty seconds left. See if we can put this together. Up to Bobby Yardy up top. Eight Seven se seconds. Here we go. Two, one, and that's the first quarter. So Foxborough yep. pulled ahead by one, two to one. Two to one. It's gonna be it's gonna close be tight. game. Well balanced with um, you know sophomores, juniors, um, and seniors. Uh, we'll take a little break for the quarter. But similar records, you know, give or take a game. Yeah, it's interesting. Th this year, a lot of, uh, you know, Foxborough has been really a second half team, and they have uh, really, um, you know, uh, put up a lot of points um, in the second half of a number of games, but this competition is getting tougher and tougher as we go further into the season. Yeah, there's a, oh. no, we lost the uh, face off. Yeah, it's his first loss. Yeah, there's always debate on that. Do you take the easier teams and get ready for the tougher teams or? Yeah, uh, I looks think like coach. there's a flag. I don't know, who, did you see who that flag was I on? did not see. It had to be on Foxborough yeah. since they let the play continue. Yeah, we finish up the season, Jim, with um, next week with three Division One teams. We've got Severian, uh, Whalen, who is a Division Two team from another another uh, conference, and who is a very strong team. All right. 
So Foxborough's man down unit is uh, on the field. Is this a one minute, one minute penalty? Yeah. Like. So 11.41 will be all even at one minute from now. All right, the ball's up top. There we go. Right. Got the long pole on it. Yeah. Good man down unit right now. Nice, nice. job. Good defense. They're keeping him to the outside. Ten seconds left in the penalty. Shot okay. wide, KP. KP retains it with six seconds left. Falls. All right, penalty release. We're trying to get a shot off, though. Mikey Collins back in to make it nice. all even. Mike. Uh oh. It's going to be a push on KP at Fox Rose Ball. Nice defensive play by. Mikey Collins. Mike bringing it up. Oh, loses the ball. All right, ball's on the ground. Let's come on, Foxfield, come up with the ball. The flag is down. Little scrum on the field. KP. We have a penalty on KP. Ooh, that's a tough one. Two minutes down and two minutes for KP. So KP so that was an elbow to the head. Yeah. So he will not be going back in right. to two minutes, even so, if they get a goal. So, so for those new to lacrosse, a locked-in penalty means as many times as uh, we score, um, they still remain man down for those two minutes. So it's 10.03 left in the second, period, second quarter. Foxborough starts off with it. Andrew Whalen starts off, your boy. Yep. Off to Tully. Number three in the program, he's my third one. Here we go, good ball movement. Be patient, we don't need to get rid of it. No, be patient. Long nice shot. shot. Hard shot. Just missed, missed top corner. Pete Conley's going to be bringing it in. There oh, we go. Lou, Lou Piccolo with a rip. Strong shot. So he's still got um, a little over a minute yeah. penalty. So that brings Foxborough up 3-1 to one with 9.20 left in the second quarter. Good so, patience, good ball movement. So Jim, you notice that these guys are patients, there's good ball movement, and yep. they're looking to find the right shot. Yep, no is, panic. And, and I notice KP's a little slower on, on transitioning over, around, so they, I think the more they pass it around, they found that opening. Okay, here we have Shane, Shane Kerrigan on the faceoff. So they are missing one midi. All right, so that's uh, 
That's four out of five faceoffs for Shane. He's done a great job. Let's see if we can do it again. A little of one minute left on the penalty. Battle two on one. We should be able to get that two on one. There we go. All right, good, good, good. Uh, that was that's a good a man traditional ball. good man ball. Yeah, Another what rocket. a rip. Top yeah. right corner. Yeah. Nice shot, nice Brendan shot. Tully. That was a rocket. I think another 20 seconds left too, maybe. Is it? Is it even now? I don't think it's even yet. I still see it. even. 803. Yeah. Yeah. So about 20 more seconds left on the penalty. That's why it's important. A locked-in penalty. Two goals on it, and, they, and they're still yeah. still in the uh, penalty box. I tell you, there's no heroes on our team. They they play well as a team. They're patient. They wait yeah. for the opportunity. Let's see if they can get a third one here. A push on KP to yeah. be Foxborough's ball. Foxborough gets it's it. That, that's uh, five out of six faceoffs. Watch behind for Shane. Andrew, who's that? Right. Moving the ball around quick. Yeah, Lou Blake. It's getting a little chippy out there. Kind of liking this. <laughs> oh! Yeah, Third goal shot. on the two-minute lockdown. That brings Foxborough a 5-1 five five with just under eight minutes left in the I second see, quarter. I scored that. I didn't see I was just... Is it Shane? It may have been Shane. All right, Foxborough has uh, come into life and really capitalized on that locked-in penalty. Goal was uh, Tully. Tully got that goal. Nice. Fast game. It's hard to keep track of all the <laughs> players. Yeah, it's all even again. All right. So that's Foxborough with another face off. Patrick Caveney bringing it up. Long pole. Drops it off and comes back to defense. Nick Beagle's going in. Yeah, Mike Michael Moses, Moses going in. And James Silvera's out there, number 24. Uh, it might not be good for Foxborough. They dropped the flag, letting it play until it, the ball's down. Oh, nice, nice save, save by Jake. Jake nice saved save. that one, nice. But there's a penalty, somebody's gonna be coming off. Jake came up strong on that. All right, so Foxborough is going to be down for one minute. We got about six fifty. We got six fifty left in the second quarter. It's going to be a minute thirty second penalty because we were slashed and we were off sides. Oh, we got a minute and a thirty. Okay. Excellent. Let's see how we do on the man down. Got some strong long poles in there. Yeah. Man down units doing good. They've been 
Ooh, took it off the noggin. Took it. He took one for the team. People don't realize at home, this ball is hard. Yeah. It is hard. And some of these shots are closing in uh, 90 miles an hour or more. Now you look at the Again, kids. Hit they with have, the baseball they pitch. have welts. They have welts yep. all over from uh, from these balls. Ah, uh, that was a tough one yeah. to save. Yeah, he was screened. It was a low shot. Yeah. Off burner. stick, bottom left. That brings Mansfield up five to two. Penalties released though, so it should be all even, correct? Yep, they were. It was releasable. Yeah. So Ed, Andrew graduating this year, huh? Any yes. more kids coming up? I have one more. I have my three boys. So three boys are done. Two my older, and Andrew's my last boy. But then Kristen next year, she'll yep. be a senior. So. And she'll be uh, the last uh, coming through the program. Well, you, you and uh, Joanna spent your days on the yeah, field coaching and pasta parties and posters. Yeah. As, and as you have as well. It uh, goes by fast. Yeah. At some point, we turn into our father. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. All even up. It's a little over six minutes left in the second quarter. Foxborough leads at 5-2. to two. All right, ball's behind, KP with possession. Ball's up top. Ball, ball's behind. Will Morrison holding him back nicely. Yep, he's doing a nice job. He's a solid kid, huh? Yes, he for is. A sophomore. He could he pass for a senior looking across. And he actually just came out this this year. He's done a great. Uh, um, he's had a great season. He's really uh, stepped up and filled in nice. KP's showing some patience, but Foxborough is. I gotta say, Foxborough's a little job. quicker on the defense. They slide a little quicker, I think, from what I'm seeing. Two nice on defense. One. Is the man bald? Ooh. Where's the call on that one? Yeah, that looked like a. I see the coach explode in a minute. Yeah. 4.24 left. Nice save. Good save by Jake. Jake. Jake's Jake's got the wheels going. He's bringing it down to the 40 yard line, just All over right. half court, and then Jake's gonna get back. Jake's staying down there. Nice job by Jake, and he can yep. throw it and he can run. Nice. Uh, Nice shot. worm Looking on the bottom. The shot. Underhand, skims yeah. across the bottom, bottom corner. That'll bring it up to 6-2 with 3.47 left in the second quarter. As they change up. Let me ask you, so you've seen this program from the, you were one of the founders back in the yeah, day with Stamatov and yeah. Andy Felix. We started the youth program. This is the 14th year. Andy Felix and I came up and met with the AD with the first year we started to try to get the try to get it rolling and uh, no money no no funds. money we privately funded it through a lot of fundraisers a lot of hard work by you know a lot of folks including yourself Jim and um, and you know it's we, the school committee built it into the budget but uh, you know we're, we've been fortunate to, to have you know coach noon who we've had from the beginning and um, we've had a good feeder program through the youth program. And that spilled over to the girls program. And Absolutely. The girls had a terrific, you know, program. A couple years um, after the boys started, right? Yep. There was a little bit of a gap. And now I'll tell you, they're, they're strong. They're, they're some of these teams, that, some of these games that you're watching, boys and girls, they're winning by 18, 20 goals. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a, Foxborough has a very strong program, and, you know, it's very proud of, of what it's uh, – Remember the days we used to steal fields, used yeah. to wherever you could play, throw yeah, the nets in the trailer. Yeah, I still, I still, 
You know, I still miss Payson. I love Payson. That was an awesome. And in the early years where we didn't have all the complete skills, we had a real advantage. Coach used to talk about that. Coach Noon, that you know, we have good, we had good athletes, and, um, and a lot of other t towns had turf, and uh, it gave us an advantage. But yeah. now, we're the t having the turf is unbelievable. Yeah. For, I think for there's only one, maybe two towns that don't have one now. And uh, I know Shay, we were talking about earlier. Sharon does not. North Attleboro just put one in. Um, well, most of them are all turf. Yeah, back on Payson, the grass used to be nice and right. thick, and you got the home field advantage. All right, so 3.47 left in the second quarter. Foxborough leading 6-2. to two. Let's see if we can pull this out. Nope. Nice, nice face off by KP. Ball's up top. Nice defense, yeah. Mikey Collins. Shout out, he's my nephew. Yeah, yeah and Mikey's <laughs> done a phenomenal job on defense this year and transitioning the ball. Yeah, he's a hard great worker. Year. Yeah. Loves the sport. No flag, no flag. Nice job. Ah. Uh, yeah, they're calling that a white. I think hole. that that's I think that's a little bit of a makeup yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. Hey, pack it in, Patrick, get in. All right, balls up top. Nice, nice check. Nice defense. Will Morrison with a nice check. Yeah. He does some right. great things with that long yeah. hold. Not easy when it's tight. When it's a tight, tight quarter. Mikey Collins there. with the ball. He's driving. A fast break situation. Nice job. Nice pass off. Not a selfish player. Tully has it. He'll be coming around the back of the crease. Yeah, here we go. Righty switches it. Ooh. Uh, that was a good save, save by, that by the goalie. All right, nice, nice defensive play. Got that ball back. Moving the ball around. Uh, nice underhand. Yeah. Good save by the goalie. Yeah, he's made a couple of good saves. A little under a minute and a half left before the half. KP putting in some fresh legs. Yeah. A lot of running. Ooh, KP right. calls a timeout All with right. just Fox a little bit really, over a minute left. They're pumped up. It's senior night. These boys are pumped up. Oh, they're tasting it. They want this win. They don't want to lose on right. senior night. So, so Jim, you know, with, uh, with a lot of uh, activity, there's been um, the field's beautiful, and obviously we get tons of uh, use out of it by both the youth programs and the high school sports. It allows us to get on the field earlier in the spring and practice, and I know there's a future phases planned, and didn't know if you had any thoughts on that. Uh, sure, yeah, when we uh, designed and permitted and built it, this was part of a master plan. So we took, if you remember, they used to have baseball and yeah. softball put that to the other side of the high school where there's uh, these to be the old septic systems. So this gave us the opportunity to do a turf field with some extra space for uh, phase two and phase three. Now phase two was the lights. They went up with a donation yep. uh, after the field was in. Uh, and then phase three, uh, actually four phases. So phase three was funded last year. That's the concession stand and the bathrooms. And that's going to go in just as you come into the parking lot yeah. on the left-hand side. And that was voted last year. And then on town meeting this Monday coming up in a couple of days, um, they're going to vote for 
the eight lane track and the bleachers and the in the um, press box. So yeah, it's been a long it's run. So, so let's get out and vote, everybody. Yeah, it's Monday night. Uh, got pretty good support with the advisory committee with the selectmen, unanimous support with the school committee. And I think what the hopes is this is going to be the gem of the community, the graduations, the, the, the youth organizations go here. Um, for once, we'd be able to, to house uh, a track events, which we can't do right now because we don't, you know, we don't have the right. eight lane track, plus we don't even have it at the high school. So a lot going on in the last couple of years. And, and I think, you know, it, was, it took a little longer than some towns, but I think right. with everything, it was about half the price. Yeah, it's terrific. Well, it's, you've, you've done a great job, yeah. and thank you for all your leadership because um, you were one of the original sort of drivers of, uh, of this. So it's, uh, it's, it's really a, a, a nice, well, nice was, for the community. The, the, uh, it's a community field, and the community stepped up. So we get about a little little less than a minute left before halftime. KP with possession balls. We're trying to get uh, a shot off with about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Foxborough leading at 6-2. to two. Shot wide, yeah. wide to the right. KP's here first, so they'll come up with the ball. About 20 seconds left before the half. Right, ball's behind. Here's your ball's up, up top. Eleven seconds left. Eight, five, four, three, two, one, and we're All gonna right, go into the half time. with a nice lead All of right, six to two. Yeah. Boys These are guys pumped. are pumped. Doing a great job. Yeah. So we'll take a little bit of a break. I think they're going to do the traditional flop. Well, they did that. We did it before the oh, game. Oh, did it before the game. Coach That's did it before got. the game um, this year. You broke with tradition a little bit, but it was nice, beautiful night here for a game. And, um, oh, I always, didn't realize that. that yeah, nice I saw the youth sport. That's right. The yeah. youth teams came, and they did the – Yeah, great the, support uh, from the youth yep. teams this evening. We're gonna, they're going to do, a, I think, like a event. Um, like uh, They're going to do some youth things at halftime. And – so good, good turnout for the for the boys. All right, All right we're going to take a little bit of a break. We get about uh, ten minutes before the uh, second half begins. Six to two as we start the third quarter on senior night. All right, here we go, beginning of the third quarter. I didn't know what they were doing, all of a sudden they just started throwing <laughs> balls at me. <laughs> I found out now. All right, here we go, we Shane in the face off, Will Morrison on the far and then Mikey Collins. Or Lou Blake on the Lou Blake, sorry. KP with possession. This is going to be interesting. You said they're, they're more of a second team, second they, half they, team? Foxville's been a second half team. We'll see if we uh, keep that uh, tradition all but one game. But uh, we just got to keep playing the way we uh, started that first, played the first half of the game. The boys are uh, they're up. Shot wide. And looks like oh, KP's gonna read. Yeah. Yeah, KP's gonna keep it. Jake made a heck of an effort back to the net though. Alright, ball's up top. Good defensive stance so far by Foxborough. Coming around the crease. Going back to lefty. Boy, nice job popping him back out. Cross to the middle. Shot wide. 
Boy, Jay, Jake makes a heck of an effort yeah, to try to get does. back every time, too. All right, ball's behind. Now it's back up top. Nice job, Kerrigan, nice riding on his back. Foxborough. Long pull. Yeah, Will Morrison picked up that ground ball. Ball's behind the Jake. All right, we're switching off. Got Brendan Jake, on the nice. field. Ball's across. Lou Blake. Uh, oh, lost. A little too fast for a stick. It turned, out, turned over the ball. Ball's at midfield heading in towards Foxborough's defense. Nice, uh, nice defense by Foxborough. I tell you, KP Foxborough is physical when they want to be, right? All right, he stepped out of bounds. Good defense by nice. Foxborough. Foxborough will be clearing the ball. Bobby Yardy right. going in All for right. Kerrigan. Right. There we have Pat Caveney just over the midfield line. Ball, Lou, Lou Piccolo coming down. All right, ball's behind the Andrew Whalen. Over to Pete Conley, up to Brendan Tully. James Silveria going in. Yep, number 24. Lou Blake shot. coming out. It was off. Foxborough retained possession. Ball's behind, coming up top. Foxborough keeps it. Uh, Connolly got it, but it's got to give it back. All right. KP's coming up the side. KP. KP across midfield. A little end of nine minutes left in the third quarter. Foxborough leading 6-2. Ball's behind. All right, ball's coming. Ball's up top of the midi. Mikey Collins on him. Will Morrison. Yep, James Silvera. Yep. And then on defense, you've got Pat Caveney. Pat Staples nice in number hit. three. Oh. Was shot. Shot wide. I think he did it. go off his foot, maybe. I don't I don't know. KP keeps it. Ronnie McLennan's out there. Number 32. Balls, Balls up, up top. top. Mikey Collins on him. Nice defense. You know what that was? They just couldn't penetrate, and I think yeah, he just got a little frustrated yeah, and said, I'm going to shoot it. Shot from up top. That's going to be Jake will save those. Yeah. He's coming around back behind the crease. Ball's up top. It's a good defensive stance, Jim. Yeah. They're, they're consistent. They're not seeing an opening. You see him shifting. And I see that the defense is patient. They're not over committing, and they don't have to. You know, I don't see anyone KP that's a uh, show dog that's going to go through anybody. Nice save by Jake. Nice. Off the chest. Jake Adesh, very consistent. All right, here we go. Bring it up to James Silveri. He's got James. legs. All right, we're going to put some subs in. All right, they're getting some fresh legs in there. Good job, James. 
Blue pick with the ball. Falls back up top. Shane Kerrigan over to Brendan Tully. Bobby Urardi to Andrew Whalen. Showing good patience. Foxborough still up 6-2 with six minutes left. They just turned on the lights. He's making the run. Uh, almost. Good idea, though. Yeah, he looked across Waited the for the man and, and the pass across the crease. KP takes it. You know, at halftime, we didn't show it, but we did a fun, there was a little bit of a, a fundraiser uh, ball toss who could come the closest to the uh, face-off um, spot. And uh, the winner of that was uh, Jack Yucatanis. Um, so congratulations, Jack. I haven't seen that before. I happened to be walking across midfield and they started throwing the ball so I couldn't figure out yeah. what they were doing. Yeah, we, we were talking about maybe a new one called uh, Hit a Selectman, maybe <laughs> one of future games. I honestly didn't know what they were doing. Boy, this defense is impressive. Ooh, oh, nice, nice save by Jake. Is that off his stick or the bar? I think that was off his stick. Yeah. May have hit both, actually. I heard a ping, so. A little under five minutes left in the third quarter. Go. Bad pass, Foxborough takes it. But Brendan Tully's Here, gonna Brendan get it Tully on the, the side. Ball. Nice move. Nice. Here we are, ball behind Andrew. Back over to Lou Piccolo, hey, up to Bobby hey, Yardy. Brendan Tully off and James yeah. Silveri going on. Mike Moses making a move. It's a nice idea, they're just not connecting. And unfortunately yeah. it was a pass, not a shot, right. so KP's gonna take the ball. Okay, KP will make an attempt to clear the ball. Foxborough riding. Four minutes left in the third. Foxborough still up six to two. KP keeps it. Goalie's going to go back to the net. Now, usually Jake is the one who takes the ball down coast to coast and gets yeah. a shot. I haven't seen too many other goalies that have been able to have the stick skills to do that. All right, KP with the ball. Nice, nice defense. defense. Uh, retained it. Ronnie McClellan. I don't know. I don't. I, I see KP having to do something a little different, and then it's just not going to catch up. They're um, they're getting shut down on the yeah. perimeter over and over. Balls on the ground. Come on, Foxborough. Here we go. Uh -oh. Okay, they call the white push, so it'll be uh, KP will retain, uh, we'll, we'll get a possession. A little under three minutes left in the third quarter. Fox are up six to two. All right, ball's coming into the side. He's behind X, behind the crease. He's looking for the opening man, open man. He's not seeing anybody. Ball's up top. Good defense by Bobby, who's right on him like glue.
little Shot. underhand high. Ball off to the side, but KP's closer to the line, so they'll start with the ball. Two minutes left, a little over two minutes left in the third quarter. Ball's behind. Will doing a nice job. Nice defense. Oh boy. Was that a was that a flag after the shot? Yeah. Let's see what this is. All right, Bobby Yardy, number four. Yeah. One minute. One minute. Man down unit will be on the field. So 145, Foxborough leads at 6-2. Man down unit, you've got uh, Pat Caveney, Will Morrison. Pat Shot Stapleton. wide, KP keeps it. And you've got, uh, I, don't, I don't think KP's capitalized on a man down yet. The, uh, Shot high. Oh, shot high. And Foxborough is there first, right? They were, so nice. Foxborough, good hustle. Again, closest to the end line in a shot. About 25 seconds left in the uh, man down, too. So Foxborough still man down, but we have possession. Back to Jake. Jake's gonna put his wheels. Oh, that is a push from behind. And there's the flag. Yeah, there we go. We got he couldn't let that one go by. Yep. 13 seconds left in the man down, and I think KP is going to be coming off the field for their minute down. Yeah, so we'll be even for 13 seconds because they've got a man coming off, and then we'll be man up. Very seldom do you hit somebody from behind at right. the top of the neck and not get called right. for that. For sure. So for 13 seconds, we'll be all even with both being a man down, and then Foxborough will take over with a man up. Six to two, Foxborough carrying it with 55 seconds in the third quarter left. Let's go, boys! Foxborough is released. Okay, we're man up now. Man up units out. Okay, KP went back on, so that must have been a 30 second, yeah, 30 second, 30 second penalty. Yeah. So Foxborough has the ball from behind. 20 seconds left in the quarter. It's been a good game. I haven't seen the coach lose his head yet. <laughs> the night is young. Here we go. Oh, I thought that was going to be a shot. 10 seconds left. He wants to shoot it. There he goes. Uh, five. Four seconds left. Let's see if they have a play for this. Four seconds left to the crease. Oh, that would have been a nice one. All right, that'll drain the third right. quarter. 6-2 Foxborough lead. They're looking good. Yeah, they're yeah, looking good. One more. We need one more strong quarter out of the boys to get the win on senior night. And uh, again, the seniors... Lou Piccolo, who will be going to Dean College. Sam Blake, who will be going to Union College. Mike Moses, who will be going to Hofstra. Mikey Collins, going to Keene State. Pat Caveney, going to UMass Lowell. Andrew Whalen, going to Bryant University. James Silveria, to UNH. Lewis Blake, to UMass Amherst. Mike Henry, East Coast Prep School for football, a PG year. And Jake Adesh, to Hofstra. So good luck to all the boys and all their future endeavors. Yeah, it's nice to see them all moving on to college and a little bit of sweet, right? It's 
years go by, but uh, nice they're all going on. on to be successful people. And it's nice. I see his son out here helping. He graduated a few years ago, yeah. and yeah, he enjoys the rough, and he does the he does some uh, roughing as well. And and then yeah, then uh, Connor, he's. Uh, Got his business and uh, he's back in town after graduating college. And yeah, it's a good, uh, good group of kids. And uh, you look across at the field at all the families they show up for this. Pretty, pretty consistent group. Yep. Pretty simple group. We don't need bleachers. Yeah. We don't need concessions. They just show up with their chairs. And the other thing this year too, Jim, is uh, the national championships are going to be right up at Gillette. On, That's right. Yeah. On Memorial Weekend. Yeah, they've been consistently coming back. They yeah. they fight to get them back, and and they have the men and women, right? Yeah, and there's a uh, there's a, a, a sort of a national tournament at the youth level that Foxborough hosts now, and a lot of the boys and the girls go up and help at that tournament for volunteerism. So, oh, so they are doing um, that again. They're doing the that this year. Yep. Yeah, I saw the uh, when that came through, all the fields were being used. The kids were parking cars oh. and. Uh, it was a win-win well, for everybody. Shane just won that face-off, but it got turned over because you, it's got to be one move. You have, like, literally a second. You have to, after taking a step, the ball's got to be um, in your regular pocket side. Hey, all the way down. Michael, all the way down. 6 2 with 11 43 in the fourth. Mike Henry's playing nice defense on him. He is. Help out. Michael, three doubles. Taking your left hand, Mike. Get down. There you go. Back side. Nice to see Mike Henry out there. Yep. He just came out this year, his senior year. He's yep. played in the youth program. Shot, Shot wide. wide. There you go, KP keeps it. 11 minutes. 11 minutes in the game. Fox were up 6-2 to two still. I think they came into the third quarter 6-2. No one scored yes. the whole quarter. Oh, Ooh, nice, another one nice for the defense. teams. Will Morrison, I think. Will Morrison that, off the yeah. off the body with that ball. Nice, nice ground Band ball. ball. Look Kick at that it. hustle. Beautiful. Uh, pick it up. It's tough with the long pole. People don't understand when it's nice. four feet ahead of you to get down and pick it up, but he does it. And he come off the field. Yeah, nice that was job. a battle. All right, Foxborough with the ball. Mike Henry back off the field, replaced with Yardi. No pressure on Foxborough to do anything. Then, if they're not going to pressure them, they can just keep passing around the outside. They get they get the clock on their side. Right. KP should start pressuring them soon. Goalie made a, a nice good shot. save. Nice shot and a good save. He's on him. He's on him. All right, nice, nice save. Job. Nice save. He made that look so easy, didn't he? Is that a late call? I didn't see the call. I... Well, KP keeps it, right? Mm. No, no, Foxborough. No. Oh, Foxborough got Foxborough it. Foxborough yeah, okay. gets that possession. I don't know what that call was. Yeah, I didn't see it either, Jim. Ball is behind with Lou Piccolo. Ball's up top. Nice pass. Oh, that was a hard one. Oh, there's got to be a flag there. Two flags. And a little scrum on the field. I could feel that from here, right across the stomach. But you know what? They don't understand. This just riles them up more. They're going to come out stronger now. So the rest are trying to figure out who comes out. That's going to be at least a minute, right? Yeah. And 
in the game, you can hit somebody with the stick, but it's got to be controlled. Yeah. Well, then that was a head. That was a head shot. Yep. Right Let's see what this call is. Okay, so there was a, the penalty on Green for one minute, but then there was a penalty on Foxborough, non-time penalty, so it goes to the KP. So KP will get start the ball, nine minutes left in the game, one man down. Did I get that right, Ed? We get it, everyone looks confused out there. I think they're trying to figure out where the ball starts. KP coaches are not happy. Let's see. Jeez. This goalie's not as quick as Jake. He lost the ball. He lost the ball. It's going to be an open net. Piccolo sees it. He just can't Here get back go. in time. Get a shot. There he goes. Oh, yes. And he right. capitalized a on it. Nice job, Piccolo. He saw it, he wanted it yeah. early, but he just couldn't get up there in time. So that's a danger when the, when the goalie comes out. When you're a hero, it's great, but when you lose it, you can't get back quick enough. So that means KP's penalty gets released. It's gonna be all even. 8.41 left in the game, and Foxborough brings it up. Yep. Uh, five goals, so seven to two. Get a five goal lead. 8.41 left. KP coach is still arguing about the last call. Shane Carrigan taking the face off. Will Morrison on uh, long pole midi. Yeah, here we go. Foxborough going from left to right. All right. And he picked it up nice, no problem. Back to, right. the, back to Adesh, bringing up long pole. Yeah, Patrick Stapleton. Stapleton, plenty of time. Bring it all the way up to attack. Pete Connolly. Up to Piccolo. Piccolo controlling it. It's up right. And they're taking some wax at him, but he's yeah. not, it's not phasing him. Ball on the far side. And right, enough flag. enough's enough. They, they threw the flag. Ah, he's coming out for that. Number 10 slash one more minute. I counted 12 slashes, yeah. 12, 12 hits on Piccolo before he uh, went down. Green. One minute left. All right. So Foxborough up again for one minute. Eight minutes left in the game. There have been a lot of penalties uh, yeah. on KP, yeah. and, 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 and Foxborough's did a nice job capitalizing on just about every one. Let's see if we can bring it up to 7 2 with eight minutes left. And there's no pressure at all on Foxborough. They can just pass it around, wait for the be opportunity. Patient. Yep, they can be patient. Ah, white walk through the crease. You can't put your feet in the crease. Right. So KP will take the ball. Seven and three quarters left yeah. in the yeah, game. KP clearing. Goalie will start. They've got to move the ball. Less leg work, more. Nice defense. Uh, it wasn't a stick uh, call, it was a push. Yeah. All right. Shot wide. Oh, 
will be uh, Foxborough still Fox, a man up. Yeah, we're going to be. Well, we're going to be in a penalty right now. Uh, Lou Blake coming out for 30 yeah. seconds. All right, so Foxborough is down man. KP's down a man. Yeah, so 15 seconds, KP goes back in. And then we'll be down for uh, another 15 seconds. This is a 30 second penalty, right? Yep, 30 seconds. That's right, Jim. Okay. KP is bringing it in from the side. Oh. Uh, ref saying put a little time back on the clock. Uh, he wants three seconds put back on the clock. So it's 7.12. Technology wonderful, huh? So we put right, 7.15 yeah. on the clock, three seconds. Right. Ball's behind, KP with the ball. Eight seconds left and KP will be coming back in to make Foxborough a man down. All right, Foxborough's a man down for 15 seconds. Oh, and they put it in. Yeah, Top good. shoulder, that was a tough one. All right, we're back to even now. So it brings us 6.55 left in the game, Foxborough right. up seven, two, three. three. So Sharon, uh, Shane Carrigan is going to take the uh, face off again. He's been doing well today. Yeah, yeah. He he's got the majority of them. Uh, he's done a great job all year. You got Collins on one midi and long pole with Morrison. And Mikey Collins, man ball. Yep, they got it. Morrison go. kicks it up. Well, Morrison gets it up to uh, Stapleton. Back to Stapleton. Brendan Tully going to bring it behind. Over to Piccolo. Back to Tully. Attack to attack. Bring it up to the, oh. Little pass in front of the crease, but couldn't hold on to it. So it wasn't a shot, so it should be KP ball. Oh, we ended up with it. It was yeah. our ball, sorry. Okay, Foxborough. Brennan Tully with the ball. Over to Yardy, Mitty. Yep. Pete Connolly. Yeah, Pete with the ball some legs. Top. <laughs> nice, uh, nice save yeah. by the goalie. And KP beats him to the line. So KP will get no, the ball. Actually, I think. Uh, oh, no, I'm no, sorry, you're right. Back there. Yeah, he was back there. Just yeah. hard to see. Uh, yeah, I didn't see him. So Piccolo picks it up with uh, under six minutes left in the game. Foxborough leads at 7 to 3. What a yeah, drive. Nice, nice shot. job. Yeah. Brendan Tully. Yeah, it was nice Piccolo, Piccolo over to Tully. Well, that's nice. So that brings it up 8 3, 5 22 left in the game. Foxborough leads it. Yeah. May 11th, the senior game. 
Yeah, beautiful, beautiful uh, night for lacrosse. So coming from here, they got Franklin on Wednesday, Mer Zaverian on Monday, Whalen on Wednesday, and then the last game is going to be uh, Milford just for the varsity. Yeah. Heck of a run All the right. coaches had and with this Bobby, team this yeah. year. All right, Bobby with another win on the faceoff. Kerrigan bringing it over to Blake. Over to Tully. And they're not letting up. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. Ah, questionable slash, but they didn't call it and they got the goal. Wow. Nice. I don't know how he held on to nice it shot. after that, that hit. Was awesome. Uh, Brendan Tully. Boy, that was a bullet. Yeah. And they unloaded on him yeah. with that stick, too. And KP is going to call a timeout. So 4.50 left in the game. Foxborough is pumped. Yeah. So probably a good time to give a shout out to Foxborough Cable Access. Yeah. Always. Been extremely good to the lacrosse program over the years. Yep. Yeah, they're they're usually at the games either with their uh, their truck or their remote cameras setting up, breaking yep. down. All volunteers. Right now they're checking uh Charlie stick. Uh, yeah, checking the stick. The, the coach called a timeout because he wanted that check stick check. Yep. So you'll see if the cameras are on that. No, maybe not. But the ball cannot. There cannot be any space between the top of the ball and the plastic part of the cross. And if they deemed it to be illegal, they take the goal back. And a locked-in two-minute penalty if they if they yep. find that. Yeah. And they're testing it. Yeah. And also measuring the stick from end to end. It can't be too short. And it's deemed a good stick. Yep. Warriors are pretty pumped, huh? Yeah, they are. They are. It's a big the Foxborough Warriors, that is, the Cape P Warriors are a little quiet right now. Yeah. I don't think Foxborough's called any timeouts, right? So they. I don't think so. So we've got two, and KP's got one timeout left. So 4:50 left in the game. Foxborough yeah. leads it nine to three. Nice with the lights on here, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, a procedure call. So KP's ball. KP with the ball, ball behind, Fox. And good defense. As, uh, people like the underhand shots, yeah. but they're not as accurate. They're a little yeah. faster sometimes, but that one over the net. Lou Blake trying to hold him back. Nice check nice in the back track. of the stick. Should, ooh. Nice Long check. calls in there. Nice. Good stick control. Nice, nice. Pat Caveney with nice, nice, nice. That stick. was a nice control. I tell you, when you try to cradle four feet away from you and you get two or three defenders right. on, I mean, off, offense trying to get out of there, that, that was good control. Nice roll move. Yeah. Nice roll dodge. Oh, Foxborough bringing it behind with their attack. Lou Piccolo behind the crease, controlling it. Three and a half minutes left. Yeah. 
He's taking some wax. Yeah. Very patient kid, huh? Yeah, they're moving. He's looking. He's got his head up looking. Oh, I tried to do the back pass in front of the crease. Foxworth right. should get that. Jane. All right. Pete, Pete Connolly with Pete the, Connolly. the ground ball. Mike Moses controlling it. Connolly and Blake back and forth. Nice and patient. Oh, heck of a. Oh, it was good save. Oh, uh, penalty on, uh, yeah, holding, a call, a holding yeah. on KP. Foxborough keeps back the ball. 2.30 left in the game. I think we might have this. Foxborough ahead nine to three. Moving the ball, a little patience, which is good. It goes down shooting. KP comes up with it. He's going to use his legs, looking up. No place to go. He's looking up. Yeah. Got to get rid of that ball. Yeah. He's starting to move it up the field. Yeah. Coming into the box. KP doesn't have the numbers down there yet. Well, Minute 42 left. Uh, ball goes loose. See if they can. Uh, KP pushing. Yeah. Pushing from behind against the uh, yeah, Foxborough little, player. Yeah, and there, there it was going. It's going to be yeah. over and back. That's that new rule where if that ball comes. Oh, that's it from the infield, cross. You're yeah. right, you're right, you're right. So it was a combination of both. Oh, yeah. Piccolo, line drive, top right corner. That should do it. That brings it up to 10-3 yeah. and a minute 16 left in the game. Well, I think you were right. They were a second half team today. Now a lot of these, a lot of these goals came off of uh, man down. So it, yeah. it, it, there's something to be said for uh, discipline when you get yeah. a penalty. You know, some of the penalties Patience were just and, uh, frustration penalties, you know. Good shot selection. And, and you got to value each possession. And I think that's one of the things the team has done um, a good, great job at this year. So with this win, it'll bring them 15 to 1 for the season. And what do we got in their, um, in their division? Yeah, it's... Uh, um, I think they've won the Davenport. Um, they'll be third. Yeah, they'll be 13 and one, and then they've got uh, some games next week, and then they'll do these selections for the uh, the playoffs. Under a minute left. They don't need to score. We'll see what they do. I think consistently KP has not pressured outside the circle. Mm -hmm. You know, they figured they're down two or three goals. It would give a little more pressure to try to get the ball loose. Oh. No penalty, but White will. Yeah. 30 seconds left. Ah. Uh. Getting a little chippy. I see KP has hit him twice. The first time is, yeah, that kid's gonna. Yeah. 15 seconds. They're not gonna. Blow, they're not gonna pull him out. But now they'll stop it. 11 seconds left. This kid, KP has whacked him twice. He's gonna be taken out of the game. No need of that. Yeah, a little bit of a scrum. It's uh, out of frustration, but 10 seconds, you're not going to change the game. Let's see what this is called. Oh, 
six, black, 16, green, interference, 30 okay. seconds. Okay. So green's taken out of the game, slashing, interference for a second player. So uh, 10 seconds left. Foxborough is going to take this with at least 10 to 3. 10 seconds left. Yeah, one was a penalty. The other one was a uh, penalty with time in the box. And that's the game. It's going 2 1 0. All right, good win by Fox. Yeah. They're pumped. They work hard this season. They are. They're doing yeah. Yeah, a good, clean game, yeah. consistent offense and defense. That was a good win. <laughs> So as the cameras wind down, just uh, yeah. congratulations to Foxborough moving yeah. into a uh, couple games left, yeah. leading the division. Uh, well coached, well played, both sides today on offense and defense. Uh, KP, they yeah. came out strong, but they kind yeah. of uh, never made it over that hump. Yeah, Foxborough's. It was a uh, you know, good team play today, good good night for the seniors. Yep. It's all always right. good all, when the seniors win on the Although after I saw him, <laughs> Andrew get a headshot, he didn't go back in, so I think he must have uh, kept them out. Kept them, yeah, hurt, you think? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he took it hard. Tough players, you know, the uh, very little padding, and uh, yeah, sir, they take the wax with yeah. the poles, the sticks, yeah. the pushes. So after a little bit of chippiness, it's the, you know, everybody's shaking hands and moving on. Yep. So it's to honor the game and uh, be competitive on the field, and then... Uh, yeah, a lot of these kids played played against each other since they were oh, in yeah. first and second grade, yeah. so they get it. So, all right, we'll sign off yeah, and uh, thank congratulations, you, yes, uh, thank Ed you. Will, and nice job. And yeah, same to you, Jim. Uh, and uh, we'll catch up soon. Thank you.